In this video I want to talk to you about layers, the layers panel. It is located on the left and to create a layer simply create any element on the workspace. As you can see a layer is automatically created for it. To select a layer you can either click on the element or on the layer in the layers panel. We immediately have two functions available for this layer. We can put a lock on it. This means you won't be able to select this layer in any way. The only way to select it is to right click on the respective element or in the layers panel select it again and click the lock to remove it. And the second is to hide the layer if you have an option but are not sure if you want to use it. You can simply hide the layer and uh, see how your design looks without this element. If you select the layer and right click all the functions available for the element will be accessible to you. This means whether you right click on the element or the layer it's essentially the same hierarchically structured so that the higher the element is in the layers panel the more priority it has. So if I take a circle and cover the text you'll see that the text is not visible. But if I take the text in the layers panel and move it to the very top it will be above the circle. That is the higher the element is in the layers panel the more priority it has. Essentially it's the same as selecting elements with a button and pressing center back or bring to front. Let's consider some more groups of layers. Firstly we have a layer called frame, meaning when we create a frame within a pup frame we nest other elements and it all gets grouped under the frame layer. To expand it simply click the small downward arrow to reveal it. Let's see what is contained within the frame group. The same goes for auto layout AM. If we want to add any element to the auto layout so that it adheres to the rules of the layout. In this container it's quite simple to select the layer with the element and move it into the auto layout group. So if I do it like this then I have the word Canada moved into the group with the auto layout and it started to comply with all the auto layout rules that exist in this container to revert everything back to how it was. You can press Ctrl Z or you can simply take this layer and move it back on the layers panel. Then it will continue to live its own life and accordingly will no longer adhere to any rules. And thirdly we have the simplest group. When we take two elements and group them together a group of elements is also created in the layers panel the selection group is created as a separate group. If we hide it we won't see the entire group. If we lock it we won't be able to select any element in the group either in the auto layout or in the frame. That is this rule works for everyone and is a useful shortcut hack that you need to learn if you work with layers. Let me open it now and show you what happens from time to time when we have a lot of layers, a lot of screens. Press Alt L and all the layers will collapse. There is another group of layers such as a mask for example. To cancel it you just need to click the eye icon on the mask and we see that the mask is not applied. We will go into more detail about all these things, the mask, frame, selections and other things in the next lessons. Thank you much for watching this video, good luck, subscribe to the channel and don't forget about the useful links in the description below the video.